Hey everybody, Rudy here from Take A Bath Productions with another video helping you fix various things. In this video, I'm going to be going over this four device RCA remote control. I'll cover the programming instructions and show some operation. I'll also provide some still shots of the code list that came with the remote at the end of the video. So without further ado, let's dive right in. First things first, make sure you have a good set of batteries. If they are marginal, get some fresh one. Marginal batteries always cause trouble. They're right here in the back under this cover. You got two AA batteries right there. If you need to know the uh, model number of the remote, there's a sticker right there next to the batteries. Shows you the model number, makes it easy to look up codes and instructions and stuff like that. So there are actually four ways to program this remote. The direct code entry, the brand code search, auto code search, and manual code search. I'm not going to cover the manual code search just for the sake of time for the video. Uh, so let's get started with the direct code entry. Um, this lets you enter a code from the code list that came with your remote. If you don't have the code list, I'm going to include a link at the uh, description of the video. Okay, so in this example, I'm going to be programming in a Vizio TV a Roku 3, and a Sony DVD. So you're going to want to manually turn on the device that you want to program. In this case, it's my Vizio TV. So find the codes for Vizio or whichever brand you're using. And one thing is to keep in mind here is if the first code only partially works, you should try more codes until you find one that works best. So remember, we're working on a TV. So press and hold the TV device key right here and enter the code 11758. That's for Vizio. The LED should go off and then come back on. Okay, so release the device key. And if this blinks four times and shuts off, then you did something wrong and you're gonna to need to repeat these steps. Um, that's also gonna be true for these other devices that you're gonna to wanna to program. So let's test the remote. Okay, so there's my monitor TV. We got volume up down, mute, yeah, see it in the bottom right corner, mute, input, and power. Yep, works like a champ. So very quickly, I'm going to program the Roku and the Sony DVD. Uh, let's do the Roku first. Hold down the stream button. Five, three, zero, six, one. All right. And the DVD. Three, one, five, three, one, five, one, six. All right, that's it. That's how you do that. Moving on to the brand code search. This search goes through only the codes for the specific brand that you're trying to program. Unfortunately, it only covers five brands of TV, which are going to be LG, Samsung, Sony, Toshiba, and Vizio. It also covers five brands of DVD and ten brands of satellite, cable, and streaming devices. Uh, so you're somewhat limited on that, but um, if you do have one of those brands, then this can be an easy way to, uh, to program your remote. Okay, so manually turn on your device while you're holding down the device key. I'm going to be doing a Vizio TV again. Press power at the same time. The light will go out. Light came back on. Wait for the light to come back on. Then release both keys. Enter 4. The 4 is the code for the Vizio. All right. Now point the remote at the TV and press power. Did your TV turn off? Yes, it did. Push stop. If it didn't turn off, press power again, and that'll shift to another code. Still didn't turn off, press power again, that'll shift to another code. And then finally, when it does turn off, press stop. That stores the code. Now, once again, you'll have to test the codes for other functions like input, volume, mute, whatever. And if something doesn't work right, you're going to have to try this again 
And next time, don't stop on that code. Like say, for example, that was the third code that we just stopped on. Keep testing it until, until you get to the fourth code. If that one turns the TV off, push stop and then test the, um, test the functions again. You'll have to find the best code. Uh, next, I'm going to be covering the auto code search. Um, the auto code search goes automatically through all the codes for the device that you're trying to control. And when you find one that operates your device, you can stop the search and store that code. Okay, so manually turn on the device that you're trying to control. Press the device key, kind of like we did before. Press and hold the power button until the light goes out and then it comes back on. All right. So press play. And what that does is, is that sends out 10 codes. Okay, nothing happened. Let's push another 10. Okay, nothing happened. You might have to do this several times because there's a lot of code in memory. Okay, let's try it again. Blah, blah, blah. And this is a hypothetical example. I'm not actually uh, using this because uh, it's going to take all day. Okay, there's 30 codes. Nothing happened. Four. Oh, okay. It turned off. It was one of those 10 codes. Um, so what you do is, is you push reverse, point, pointing the remote at the TV or device uh, the whole time because it's got to be able to see these codes. So press reverse. That's going to be code 9, 8, 7. This is just an example. 6, 5. Okay, it turned off. Or it turned on, whichever. Uh, if, it, if it was off, it'll turn on. Okay, that worked. So what you do, press stop. That saves the key. Uh, saves the code. Um, if you pass the code by pushing reverse too many times, just push forward, and then if it turns off on the next one, then, then you press stop to save the code. So that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, please comment below, and uh, click on that thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos like this as often as I can. Thanks for watching.